Hi guys, it's me Annie and I'm back with another video. Welcome to Annie's Creations. Today I'm standing in my bathroom and you might wonder why. Now have you ever gotten up in the morning and realized I really need to clean this certain area in my house and you go over to your cleaning cupboard and reach inside for your cleaning solution that you want to use and the bottle is empty. Now, you don't have time to rush to the store and spend heaps of money buying new cleaning solutions. So I'm going to show you how to make your very own DIY cleaning solutions you can use all over your house and it's very cost effective, costs you nearly nothing and it's probably things that you have in your home already. So let's get started. Now I'm going to show you the magical products I use out of my cupboard to make my own DIY cleaning solutions. So the first one up is distilled white vinegar. Now this is great to use for cleaning and I will tell you why. Vinegar is effective for cleaning because of its acidity. The acid in vinegar is what cuts through grease and grime, removes sticky residue and fights soap scum. The next magical product that I'm using for my DIY cleaners is normal dish soap. You can use any dish soap you want and this will also help a lot with your cleaning and I will tell you why. Dish soap is in no way limited to just cleaning dishes because of the surfactants it contains. These substances have cleaning properties and serve as emulsifiers and foaming agents that work together to tackle hardened grease, grime and dirt. The third magical product you will use for your DIY cleaning solutions are baking soda. And baking soda has many qualities when it comes to home cleaning and I will tell you why. As a base, baking soda dissolves organic compounds like dirt, grease and other stickies. In addition, the mineral structure of each baking soda particle provides a gentle abrasive to clean without leaving scratches behind. The best way to keep your shower clean is to every day dry out your shower after you took your shower in the morning. So the best cleaning weapons for your shower every day will be a squeegee and a microfiber glass cloth. These are the glass cloths I use. They're made by Blitz. I buy them at Bunnings. You can also get them at Kmart. Or if you want maybe at Mighty Teen, they sometimes have them. So just be on the lookout. This is my favorite brand for the microfiber glass cleaning cloths. They do not streak and they do not leave any fluff behind. So what I do every morning after my shower, I dry my windows and my walls by just squeegeeing the sides off with my squeegee. And then I use this glass cleaning cloth just to shine all the chrome and my handles of my shower. And that does a very good job during the week. Then once a week, I do a deep clean of my shower. And I will show you what kind of cleaning solution I make to do this deep clean of my shower. Now for deep cleaning my shower once a week, I use a dish brush like this or a dish wand. You can buy them at any supermarket that you fill with dish washing solution and you wash your dishes. Now I'm going to show you how to use it to clean your shower and what solutions you can put in to make a wonderful magical shower cleaning solution and you won't believe how good 
the solution works to clean all the grime and soap scum and even mold from your shower. Or you can also use it in your bathtub. Now for this miracle shower cleaner, I will be using one part vinegar to one part dish soap. So a 50-50 mixture will be perfect to make this wonderful magical shower cleaner or bath cleaner that you never knew existed. I take the dish one, I open the end and this is where you pour all the solution in. So first I'll start off by pouring halfway full of dish soap. So now I pour this halfway full of dish soap and then I will pour the rest full of vinegar. Now I pour some vinegar in a cup and I will be pouring vinegar until it's full. Then I'll add the cap back on nice and tight so it doesn't spill and then I just shake it around to give it a good mixture. So once mixed you are ready to climb inside your shower and wash the walls and the windows and the chrome fixture with this solution. I do this once a week and I do it just by washing the shower just after I had my shower on a Saturday morning and it's over and done with, quick and easy. So just take this into the shower with you. If you feel the shower is a bit grimy, just give it a quick wash. It's wonderful. And if you prefer not to use a dish wand to do your cleaning in your shower, you can always use an empty squirt bottle like this, a spray bottle, that you fill with a 50-50 solution of dishwash and vinegar and spray down your shower, give it a good scrub and then just rinse it off with your shower, with your shower head. So do give this miracle shower and bath cleaner a go, it really does work wonders and it is chemical free and very cheap to make. So if you want to reuse your plastic spray bottles and you don't want the ugly labels on, I will give you some tips and tricks how to get the labels off very easily without any sticky residue. So I will just demonstrate it on this and on this Ajax bottle all we need to do is heat it up to get the glue to soften up and it will peel off nice and smoothly for you to heat it up I'm just going to use my normal hair dryer and I'll switch it on and I'll just blow the area that I want to remove the label. And now you can see the label comes off quite easily. Just pull it and it will leave no residue. There you go, 
the label is removed. Now I will show you how to make your very own DIY glass cleaner just by using a few simple ingredients. This cleaner cleans wonderfully and I always use my microfiber glass cleaning cloth to clean my windows. Now let's get on to it and I will show you how to mix your very own DIY glass cleaner and put it into your recycled, reused spray bottle that you took the labels off. Let's get started. Now I've got this big jug that I'm going to mix all the ingredients in and then I will be pouring it into my spray bottle. So firstly you add two cups of water. Next you add half a cup of vinegar and you add a quarter cup of rubbing alcohol this is the 99% alcohol I buy from Pure Nature I usually use it for in my soap making when I'm doing melt and pour soaps but this works wonderfully if I put it into this solution because it dries instantly and it also helps fight the germs. Like I said I'm using the 99% rubbing alcohol but you can buy the rubbing alcohol you get from the dollar store it's 50 or 70 percent that will do just as well it just helps the solution dry on your windows much quicker so i'm adding a quarter cup of rubbing alcohol to the solution and now if you do not like the sink of the vinegar you can always add some essential oils now this is a lavender one but you can also use a citrus that's also very nice in cleaning solutions so I'm just going to add two drops of lavender oil just to give it a nicer sink instead of just vinegar so this is optional you do not need to add this this is just for the smell and there you go this is all you need it's all combined now I'm going to pour it into my spray bottle and then we can start cleaning windows because today is a very cloudy day it's a perfect day for washing my windows. I try not to make a huge mess, but I always do. And that is as far as it'll go. Then I just add the nozzle on and now I am ready to clean windows but before you put this cleaning solution together with all your other cleaning solutions you won't remember what it is so you have to put a label on telling you what is inside so what I'll do is I'll get my label maker and I'll put a label on this bottle saying that this is my glass cleaner. So here is my little label maker that I always use. It's a Dymo label maker and it's just a cheap one that I bought at Warehouse Stationery 
or at warehouse you can buy from warehouse as well and it works very wonderfully just to make a simple label for everything you're making yourself so now I'm printing the label that I want to stick onto my glass cleaner I cut it off and there we go we have a label we have a perfectly good label for our glass cleaner that we just made there you go this is my DIY glass cleaner now I'm going to show you how to make your very own DIY multi-purpose cleaner to clean your home this is a great cleaner to use on your countertops to clean dirty garbage cans, smudges on wall and much more. And with the special ingredient of some lemon rind, it does not only have a fresh scent, it also boosts the cleaning power. So I will show you all the ingredients and how we put it together. Now for this multi-purpose cleaner recipe, I'm going to add equal parts of water and vinegar. So I'm using one cup of water and to it I will add one cup of vinegar. Now I've got one cup of water, one cup of vinegar. So the only thing you need to remember is you need to put equal parts of vinegar and water then I will be adding a sprig of rosemary into this solution and also I will be using about a teaspoon of lemon rind that I will grate off the lemon and put it into the solution as well now I have grated about a teaspoon of lemon rind and I will also add this to the solution. One pot vinegar, one pot water, a rosemary sprig and then about a teaspoon of lemon zest. I'll just mix that all together. Now that it's mixed together, I'm going to pour it into my bottle. Firstly, I'll take the rosemary sprig and dump it into the bottom and then I will proceed to pour the liquid very carefully into the bottle and try not to make a huge mess. Like I normally do, I do make a huge mess. And there we go. Now this is your all-purpose cleaner, just pop the cap on, give it a good shake, there is your all-purpose multi-purpose cleaner for your home. Now this will need to infuse for at least one week before you can use it. And every time you use it, just give it a good shake, then you start using it. Just a note of caution, do not use acidic cleaners on granite as they will etch the stone. And also proceed cautiously on stainless steel because some manufacturers recommend against using vinegar on their appliances. So always check your manual. I hope you enjoy using this multi-purpose cleaner. So I've got the baking soda. I'm going to make the mixture in the bowl and I will be soaking the plug in there to get all the gum out. So I'm going to use five tablespoons of baking soda and about a cup 
of vinegar so there's five tablespoons of baking soda and I'm just going to eyeball about a cup of vinegar go slowly because the vinegar will react to the baking soda plug has got a bit of gunk stuck to it it's also not as shiny as it can be so I'll just pop it into this mixture and let it sit for about 15 minutes to get nice and clean and the vinegar and baking soda will loosen all that gunk and then we'll just clean it off by brushing it with a cleaning toothbrush. Moving on to the sink. I've made this mixture of dish soap and vinegar to use in the shower to clean my shower windows. But I will be using it in the sink. I will spray the entire zinc and let it sit for about 15 minutes while the plug is also soaking in the baking soda. And vinegar mixture and then I will be scrubbing out the sink scrubbing the plug and everything will be shiny as new so I'm just spraying all over the sink and the tap this will loosen any grease and grime hard watermark it will take that away it works very wonderfully in the shower if you want to try it on your shower doors even on the tiles and it takes away all that hard work of scrubbing you just rub it all away or just wipe it away with a cloth this does the hard work for you so now I have left the vinegar and dish soap mixture that I sprayed on with my spray bottle in the sink for 15 minutes I'm just going to scrub it out with my normal dish sponge you don't even have to scrub hard it comes off effortlessly because the vinegar and the dish soap just melts away all the yuckiness so we'll just go over and give the zinc a good scrub out and in the drying area I will be using my cleaning toothbrush it's just an old toothbrush that I use to clean hard to reach places like around the tap and in the drains everywhere that you can't easily reach with your normal sponge sitting 
in this vinegar and baking soda solution for a while. I can clean that out. Just as easy. Take the cleaning toothbrush and just get into those little nooks and crannies that you can't reach. Now I'm going to use some of the baking soda on the bottom of this bowl to just give a deeper scrub to the problem areas that I have inside my waste disposal area of my zinc. Just to make sure we get a beautiful shine. The baking soda makes a light abrasive substance that helps get all that dirt and grime off. Rinse out my sponge and rinse off the zinc and see what we're left with. Just use a dish towel to dry off your zinc. Now you can see what difference it has made to the sink. It's shiny, it's clean and bright. I hope you enjoyed my video today and as always I will see you in the next one. Bye for now.